Hello guys, uh, today we'll be going over how to modify this Bauer Rapid Charger. Uh, the output on this thing is 1.7 amps. For the stock uh, 1.5 amp hour battery, that's about perfect. Uh, once you get these 3 amp hour batteries, it takes almost 2 hours to charge them. And Bauer claims they're going to have 5 amp hour and 8 amp hour batteries coming out which will increase charge times up to oh, almost three hours for the five amp hour battery and over four hours for the eight amp hour battery. So I've already kind of disassembled this and done the modifications. Uh, this is basically going to be a video that summarizes what I did to make this thing work with my RC chargers that have much higher current and a lot more features. Um, so some of the stuff you'll see in here is stuff I've already changed. If you guys want videos of me uh, shorting out batteries and stuff like that, I go into a lot more detail of why I'm changing stuff and that. Uh, just let me know and I can upload that stuff. So let's get into it. So first thing is on the bottom here, there's four screws that hold this whole thing together. Uh, I believe these are T10 security bits. Uh, they're not too hard to get a hold of. Uh, just go to the snap-on guy and ask him for a bit set. They should be in there. Now when you lift this thing up, there will be a couple cables. Uh, this one and they're the battery main leads usually connect here I've already modified this one so they're disconnected uh, you can just cut those two leads and unplug this balance cord and this whole thing can basically be tossed aside now the next thing is there's two Phillips screws here just pull those out you end up with this little piece that's actually a pretty convenient size. Now I did have to rewire this stuff um, and I'll tell you how I did that here. So I found where all the different cells are and this red wire was originally connected to this pin. Uh, it was the ID pin. Uh, with these RC chargers, you don't need it at all. This yellow wire was originally connected to this pin. It was the thermal pin. Um, I can't name an RC charger that uses that, so it's kind of useless for us. So I just disconnected it, and I, I had to reuse both wires, but I will get into that right now. So... This is a standard JSTHX connector, which you'll find on pretty much every RC battery out there. Uh, the difference is the way they had it wired. Um, on the right side here, they had the ID, and then right next to it, they had the yellow wire, which was the thermal pin. Um, the red wire is fine. We just rewired that into ground or negative, that's what the charger's going to try to find on that pin. The yellow pin had to come out. Um, this blue pin is cell 1, white is cell 2, black is cell 3, and the gray was cell 4. All of those had to slide one position to the right, which means we had to take this yellow pin out and move it to the end. And then this yellow pin is cell 5, and it has to go onto the positive. Uh, these little pins on the back side, you just push them down with an X-Acto knife or something, and they slide right out, and then just push them back in, they slide back in. Um, I changed these main leads to use my standard EC5 connector. So that's what we'll be using. Uh, no modifications to the battery itself. So that's a big plus to this. Now I'll show you how this works. 
So the first thing is you plug the battery in just like it's a normal charger basically. And then you hook it up like it's a normal battery to your RC charger here. I've got two of them in this case. So. Okay, so with them connected, if we look at the charger, it immediately brings up the voltage in each cell and the overall battery voltage. Uh, typically 0 0.03 to 0 0.05 volts difference between these cells isn't alarming. This is actually pretty well balanced right now. Um, if it's like a tenth of a volt off of being balanced, uh, yeah, the battery might not be so great. Okay, so my settings here, charge, obviously. Uh, I have a storage option. If I'm not using the battery for a month or more, I can put it into storage, and it's basically a mode that keeps the lithium battery happy. Uh, fully charged lithium batteries build up internal resistance, and that low is performance. So if you're going to not use them for a long time, put them on storage. Uh, it is set to LiPo. Our cell voltage is at 4.2. Um, I want to say the stock Bauer battery charger is at about 4.15, something like that. Cell count, it automatically figures when you plug in the balance lead. And this current is going to be 1C, which for a 3 amp hour battery, that's going to be 3 amps. That'll be the charge rate that'll charge this battery in 1 hour. Obviously for a 1.5 amp hour battery, that's going to be 1.5 amps. Okay, so we hit start. Once again, it brings up all of our voltages. It shows us the current amperage that it's charging at, how much capacity it's putting in, and it's actually in the constant voltage phase because this battery is almost fully charged. Uh, it'll start with constant current, which would be the 3 amps, and then go to constant voltage, which is the 4.15. Uh, so right now it's kind of balancing these cells out. In this page, it'll just show internal resistance. This is a general overview of the condition of each cell in the pack. Um, lower is better. Uh, these batteries seem to be kind of high, but that doesn't surprise me considering they aren't. The high-performance batteries I typically expect for RC cars. These are only rated for, like, 23 amps continuous instead of, like... 70 and then down here we just have general information about the charger itself that is the battery voltage and how much the wattage going into the battery and obviously going into the charger all of that stuff so once this thing is done charging it'll beep and turn green and continue to balance and once it's done balancing it'll beep and turn blue so that, you know it's completely done so it the faster charge times pretty much the main goal of this mod um, seems to be working really well other than that one battery that i shorted out but um, follow exactly what I explained here and you should be good.